Good morning, I'm Clinton Griffiths. U.S. soybeans seem to be a popular buy lately for our trading partners. USDA announcing several flash sales recently. Now take a look. It started on Monday with China buying 121,000 metric tons. That was followed on Wednesday by two buys to unknown destinations totaling more than 500,000 metric tons. Thursday, another sale to unknown destinations of 256 thousand metric tons and then several buys on Friday again for unknown destinations China and Mexico totaling more than 909,000 metric tons adding it up that's over 1.78 million metric tons or more than 65.6 million bushels in just one week. Today's Michelle Rook joins us and Michelle what's behind this sudden interest in U.S. soybeans? Clinton, some of the market experts I talked to think it's tied to the fact that China and the rest of the world is becoming concerned about the size of the U.S. crop as we go into that critical August reproductive time stage for soybeans. It may also be a bit of a currency play. However, U.S. soybean exports are woefully behind normal for this time of year, so that may be why we didn't get a more bullish price reaction. Global buyers are closely watching U.S. soybean crop development. The balance sheet is tight with only 83 and a half million acres. Plus, only 54% of the crop is rated good to excellent, and the U.S. drought monitor shows 53% of beans under some level of drought, nearly double of last year. I think that's the next step in this puzzle because we are getting closer to the end of the month. I would, I would think that the trade would start thinking about the next WASDE report. The Chinese probably already are. U.S. new crop soybeans have also become more price competitive recently for global buyers. These unknown sales are, I think, being expected to be from China. That suggests that China's back in the game, that Brazil's price is high. Brazil's price is high in part because the dollar is at a 13-month low against the Brazilian real. This week's sales bring year-to-date new crop soybean export bookings up to 7.2 million tons, but this is down 35 percent from the five-year average. And China has only booked a little more than 3 million metric tons of U.S. beans. Keep in mind, last year was 8 at this time. Uh, the year before was 4.4 at this time. So I still have concerns that while we are getting sales, they're probably not at the level we need to be uh, at here. So we do suggest that maybe in two or three months, USDA will be taking a, a more serious discussion on the export sales issue. Nelson says USDA's current new crop goal is just 8% lower than average, so he expects the agency will need to lower exports by 100 to 200 million bushels sometime this fall. I'm Michelle Rook reporting for Ag Day.